Hello my crafty friends, I'm Leslie and thank you so much for dropping by Crafty Cards with Leslie. Well, I got a new stamp set and of course I have to play with it. It's um, actually, it's a new one out as well. Pineapple Sunshine, quite a nice little set. I didn't get the dies with it, but it does come with dies. It's uh, obviously by Close to My Heart. So I thought I would show you how I managed to, um, to shade this. Um, it's quite a simple technique, quite quick. I don't like spending an awful lot of time coloring, so I'm always looking for something that's um, quick and easy to do. So I thought I'd just take you through the process of how I did this, and I'll show you the different inks that I used. So toffee, shortbread, lemonade, pop these down before they fall, avocado, rosemary, and charcoal. And I just used the charcoal for the sentiment and just for um, using the ink daubers around the edge. So I'm just going to pop these off to one side and then I'll show you exactly how I did this. Now, I need those and those. Okay. So I found it um, very helpful to use my stamping uh, platform too for this one. <clears throat> so I've, as you can see, I've already been busy and I've made several. I figure once I've got my stamps out, I may as well do several and then I have them on hand when I need them. And I never usually just make one card anyway. So let me get my stamping platform. And we need some cardstock. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to uh, start off by uh, using the, the pineapple base first. So just take it off the carrier sheet. Make sure it's the right way up. Okay. So just pick that one up. And I did fussy cut this one because I wanted to pop it up. But you could do it straight, um, stamp it straight on the card, and you wouldn't have to uh, to worry then about fussy cutting it. I know a lot of people aren't fans of that. So I did a several, um, I sort of did layers of this to trying to get it to shade. So I started off with the shortbread and went all over with the shortbread. Make sure you get a good image. Do that one again. Okay, so then I wanted a little bit of brightness to it. So I just took the lemonade and just, if you move it up a little bit, just sort of rubbed it in a couple of different places and then stamp it again. See, so instantly it, um, you get sort of a different depth to it. So then I wanted to add a little bit of shade in. So then I took my toffee and just went just around the edge. You see that gives it the, um, the shape, the form. So we'll just wipe that one off. And then we'll get to the top of the pineapple. Okay, so the leaves, we'll pop those down there and pick it up. Same sort of thing, I used a couple of different inks for this one. So first of all, I stamped the whole thing in avocado. Beauty of a stamping platform. If it doesn't work the first time, just add it again and it stays in the same place, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so then you need something a little bit darker. So that's where the rosemary came in. And what I did with this was just swipe it. So swipe it up on the sides and then on the bottom. And that should 
give you uh, the shading. See, it just just a little bit. So then what I did was just take my tri-blend marker, and this is the dull green blend, and then I just went in from the bottom and just very, very lightly just add little lines going up. And that's all you need to do. I'm going to do the darker one as well from the base. And it just gives a little bit more depth to it. So that's this, all it is to do that um, pineapple. And similar things with the pineapple slice. And um, yeah, both the slice and the little sort of the triangle of triangular parts. So I'll just show you quickly how I did that. Same sort of thing. Pop these up here. Oops. Make sure you get it the right way over. sure it's bumped into the corner. And what I did with this one was the same as for the pineapple base. So I'm running out of space here. So the shortbread and I use shortbread cardstock as well. Okay, and then the lemonade and just a little, just a little scrape of the lemonade. Makes it a little bit brighter. And then just on the edges for the toffee. So along the top part of the triangular part and then on the the bottom part of this and it's just a little a little scrape you don't want brown pineapple but you see how it just gives it that little bit of definition around so that's all there is for stamping very very easy I'll just wipe this off so what I did then was to fussy cut mine now as I said you don't need to do that you can um, it stamps straight onto your card and that's uh, a lot easier. So I have a card base all cut out and I've got stamped the sentiment. So I thought we'd just go and put this together. So we'll just pretend that that's all been fussy cut. And I have a couple of different ones here. So this one, I went around the edge this is the only thing I've done differently since we stamped um, the original image. So I did the little um, streaks with the, the tri-blend marker and then just went around the edge with the, um, um, what colour was it? I forget, oh here it is. Sorry, the charcoal. So just went around the edges with the charcoal and it takes any little white bits off there. So it just finishes it off a little bit better I think. So let's just go and assemble this card. So I'm just going to use the tape runner for this. Okay, so just even all the way around as close as you can get and then same for the top of the card. I like that, wishing you a slice of happiness. And that could be for, for any occasion, really. Okay, so this is a four and a quarter by five and a half, just a regular size. So this one I'm going to, um, and then the mats are a quarter of an inch smaller each, each level. Now this one I did there's four different layers. I thought that's probably a little too much, although I, I do like that effect, but um, this works well too. So let's go and stick this on. As you can see, I made a little boo-boo on that side. So fortunately, a paper's got two sides, so I'll just flip it over. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, one thing I forgot to do with I did on this one, I wanted to put sort of a shadow, something to anchor the pineapple down. And I used the shortbread for that. So I'll quickly go and do that. And I just used a little blending brush. Yes, spaces. I had a premium in here. I keep starting off quite organized and then I just fling everything all over the place. So just sort of figure out where you want it. And then just a little bit, just a little shadow. You don't want your images floating in midair. So you could put a little bit underneath the sentiment too instead. Um, but do that before you stamp. I think that's probably enough. Maybe a little bit more down here. Okay. And um, I need this because we're going to do some little splatters. Okay, we can go ahead and stick this one down. And then a little pineapple slice. Now I didn't do the edges with the ink dauber, so I'll do that one. Just a little bit, just around the edge. Now I didn't cut the center out because it's white and it's going onto the white card, so I didn't think um, we needed to do that. And that would be kind of tricky. Although an X-Acto knife would work too, if you really, really want to do that. So this one I stuck straight down there. So I'll do that again. And just tuck it next to it. And this one, I put um, the tape runner on one side and then just use a little bit of foam tape just to balance it on the other side. Do it this way. There we go. And about there. Okay, so what I did with this one was controlled splatters, I'd like to call them. You could just take your paintbrush and a little bit of diluted ink and just splatter it. But I have this and uh, it's from a very old stamp set, no longer available. But a lot of the stamp sets come with little splatter images. Um, or as I said, you can just use your um paintbrush and just splash it but this way you can actually control where these go i'm just going to do it just around the the edge of the pineapple do another one down there but it just adds a little something to it not very much but just a subtle something Okay, so those are just about, that one's just about done. I just add a little dot to that. And these ones are um, freshly baked. And there again, this is quite old. I think it was from a, it was from a Christmas um, set. Just about out of yellow ones. I think, yeah, I thought, I thought I had another couple on there. So I'll just pop that one down and find my X-Acto knife. and just pop it there so super easy super quick just stamp out a whole pile of um, pineapples and just go to it so i hope you enjoyed this card and learned something a little bit new and uh, please consider subscribing also click the bell icon that way you'll be notified when i post new videos thank you so much for watching we'll see you again soon bye bye